Hello, I am Shifa Ahmed in charge of the Department of History of Art at the Institute of Global and Historical Studies. I welcome you to our conference on the beauty of forms in Pakistani art. In this conference, we have scholars from various institutions across Pakistan who will discuss formalism in Pakistani art. I'm confident that this conference will serve as a platform for discussing new approaches to view Pakistani art from different perspective of formalism. Thank you for your presence and I'm sure you will enjoy this conference. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Zilla Huma, Assistant Professor at Sadar Bahadur Khan Women's University, Quetta. First of all, I would like to thank my teachers, Dr. Professor Hussain Abbas and Madam Shifa, who gave me a chance to present this paper on visual conference, The Beauty of Form in Pakistani Art. I'm presenting this paper on an analytical study of formalism on calligraphic art of Pakistan. This presentation is about abstract calligraphy that has been done by calligrapher of Pakistan since 1947 with simple forms. This research will provide the information about the calligrapher who are pride of Pakistan who are not only famous for their traditional style of calligraphy but also famous for their abstract calligraphic art. This research will also light shed on contemporary calligraphic art of Pakistan and their approaches toward the formalism art. The importance of this research is no scholarly research has been done on calligraphic art of Pakistan. Let us start from the historical background of formalism towards the calligraphic art of Pakistan. As we know that formalism is a literally theory in literature, it refers to critical approaches that analyzes, interprets, over, evaluate to inherit features of the text. While formalism in art history is the study of art by analyzing and comparing form and style, the development of formalism was informed by the doctrine of art for art's sake. It was first used by a French philosopher, Victor Cousin, during the early 18th. Subsequently, the French novelist Théraphale Gautier used the phrase to describe his novel Modemosle. Merpin in 1835, by the mid of 18th century, a number of literally and visual artists were promoting the idea that our existing existed solely for its own sake and should not serve any social or moral purpose. If we look at the Western arts of painting in 19th century, many artists starting working on art for art's sake. Then subject matter. Characteristics like simple form of formalism can as easily be seen on works of many famous Western artists like Henry Matisse, Paul Cezanne, Pablo Picasso, George Baroque and Vasily Kandinsky and many other. They use simple form instead of detailed works. In Pakistani art, of calligraphy, calligrapher was working on traditional style of Muslim calligraphy since 1947. That includes Nasq, Sulas, Murakka, Rayani, Takwi, and Rikka. From, 19, uh, from 1916 onward, many famous calligraphers of Pakistan, including Ismail Gulji, Saad Khan, Shakir Ali, Jamil Naksh, Ajab Khan. Rashid Sayad starting using paints on canvas instead of ink and pen. On paper, they write calligraphy on canvas with traditional and simple forms with the use of elements like color, shapes, texture, and lines. Calligraphers' work of calligraphic art for this presentation I analyzes on the calligraphy of Ismail Gulji. Look at the picture. 
This picture is made by Ismail Gulji. Her name is written on the canvas. Ismail Gulji was a Pakistani painter and sculptor known for his representational portraits and calligraphic abstraction. Gulji was living in United States where he was training to be an engineer. His understanding of world was rooted in two perspectives. One was logically and constructive, the other was theoretical and abstract. His works, one of the greatest examples of formalism shown in, in figure, abstraction of formalism can be seen in his painting. In such painting and title, he has studied colors and forms amongst the elements of design. One identify the color pink on the half of the painting. In color wheel, pink is tint of primary color red. So it is not an additional color wheel. It is made of mixing white and red together. Red color symbolize as a passion and white symbolize purity. By mixing these, we get pink. It is symbolize nature love and compassion it evokes feelings of comfort and warmth and hope although in this painting we can recognize colors but couldn't recognize the word but the mean were existing here in such painting gulji was rather than focusing on creating functional images he started in deconstructing the process he examined the forces that hold an image in, pl in place in place the brush stroke like color shapes and forms that collaborate to give image their essential character he saw that each of those elements held its own truth and beauty this realization transformed his work and set him on a path toward becoming the most important pioneer in 20th century Pakistani abstract art. For this research, I come to the conclusion, the formalistic approach direct that art can be analyzed by reviewing forms and style. Arts element can apply to almost all types of artworks, including in painting, drawing and designs, or any calligraphic or visual composition. In arts, formalism means to talk about techniques in any art without its subject. Its theme and in visual art, we analyze that we see instead of art's theme behind it. It is focused on eight elements of arts like line, shapes, forms, color, space, texture, and value, etc. And by using these elements, they created principle of arts in it for example balance rhythm harmony proportion and unity thank you for watching alafis